So juvenile arthritis is a chronic autoimmune condition. Um, it's one of the commonest inflammatory condition we see in children. Um, when I say autoimmune condition, it means uh, the body makes antibodies against own body cells. And in juvenile arthritis, it preferentially affects the joints. Um, so juvenile means uh, young uh, children, young people, and uh, children anywhere from age of infancy up to the age of 16 uh, can be affected with arthritis. Arthritis means inflammation in the joint. So we call this condition juvenile idiopathic arthritis, where juvenile meaning younger children, young people, idiopathic means we do not know the exact cause. Arthritis means inflammation in the joints. So juvenile arthritis can be very quiet for a long time, many weeks or months, and subtly affect your joints without even you noticing anything significantly. But commonest reason why people come to us is because of the pain they may have. The usual description of any inflammatory arthritis, such as juvenile arthritis, is that children notice a pain, which is usually kind of a dull aching pain, and they notice stiffness in the morning in the joints that are affected, meaning they find it difficult to move the first thing they wake up in the morning, or if they have sat in a place for a long time. Um, they may also notice they're unable to move certain joints because of the inflammation in the joints. Those are the uh, common uh, presenting symptoms. Um, one may also notice other things such as um, different in appearance of the joints. They may see the change in the gait or they have difficulty in doing certain things or even difficulty in carrying on routine activities um, such as uh, dressing themselves or washing themselves or taking stairs such as those. And there are indeed. Um, Juvenile idiopathic arthritis is very heterogeneous, meaning the different forms of arthritis. Unlike the adult form where they have distinctive type, say rheumatoid arthritis, juvenile arthritis has different types. So the most common is what we call oligoarthritis. I mean, oligo means few. Um, so when you have less than four joints, we call it as oligoarthritis, and that's the most common form of arthritis. There are other subtypes we call it as polyarthritis, meaning multiple joints are affected. We have um, a psoriatic arthritis, where one may have psoriasis and arthritis, or one may have arthritis associated with psoriasis, not necessarily having the skin lesions. We have systemic arthritis, where one may have fever, rash, um, gland swelling, with or without arthritis too. Um, and there are other arthritis conditions which may overlap more than one subtype, or may not fit into one uh, type of arthritis. But arthritis can also be associated with other autoimmune conditions such as lupus or vasculitis. But when it comes to juvenile arthritis, we talk about seven different types. It's a very good question. So when somebody has active arthritis, it does affect them. Um, they may experience uh, pain which is more of an aching pain, a dull aching pain which is there most of the times. Sometimes it may hurt more such as when they wake up in the morning. Um, sometimes the pain may not be necessarily purely with the arthritis. It may be coming from the muscles which have gone weaker too. Now once you treat arthritis, the pain um, usually tends to get better. But one may experience pain a little bit after too and that is not to do with the joints inflammation. As I mentioned before, it could be because of the muscles which have gone weaker and they have forgotten how to cope with the routine activities. So the pain from the inflammation itself is only as long as the active arthritis is there. Once we treat it, it should get better. Unfortunately, there is no cure for juvenile arthritis, but what we have is many options to treat the arthritis, bring it to remission, meaning we control the inflammation and one doesn't even notice that one has juvenile arthritis. So the treatment generally depends on how 
significant arthritis, how many joints are affected and how badly it is affected. So for example, if you have oligoarthritis, which is affecting only few joints such as knee or an elbow, we can treat them with um, anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen or naproxen. In addition, we may choose to treat them with steroids. The steroids could be in the form of um, oral steroids, meaning you take tablets by mouth, or it could be steroids by infusion, which means we put a drip and give you some treatment in the initial phase, and then we switch to oral form of medication for a few days to a few weeks. Or if it's only one or two joints, we may, prefer, we may suggest injecting straight into the joints affected without the need for steroid by mouth or by infusion. But if you have multiple joint arthritis, in addition to treating the initial period with uh, either anti-inflammatory drugs or with the steroids or steroid injections, we may go for long-term medications such as methotrexate, what we call as disease modifying agents. In a small proportion of children, in addition to medications such as methotrexate, one may need biologic agents. These are um, medications synthesized in the lab against certain bad proteins that cause inflammation. 